it's been a learning curve. Um, no one tells you that there isn't a book, I guess, for when somebody is charged with a crime and no one tells you what direction to go or what you're supposed to do or how you're supposed to handle things. And so you immediately find yourself in this fight or flight mode and you stay there. Um, we're still there. Uh, for Kurt, he tells me that he stays strong with God. Um, he has a wonderful relationship with God and he is very prayerful and devoted. Um, and he stays strong with our kids and myself. He um, focuses on positive. He tries as much as he can from where he's at behind the glass and the concrete cinder blocks to help advocate for himself. It's very, very difficult. He's in a, a small county jail, um, so there aren't resources for him to do that. Even though he's being held on bond and he isn't an, you know, a criminal or hasn't been convicted, um, he's still housed the same way. So he doesn't have access to a computer, or he doesn't have access to just the tools that anyone would when trying to advocate on their own behalf. So that's a little, that's not a little, that's very, very tough for him. Um, so he has to rely on me, his attorneys, um, our close circle to help with whatever it is that he needs. For the boys and myself, we too rely on God strongly to get us through each day. We are very prayerful. We eat dinner together every night. We, um, we love being a family. We, we love our family. And we spend as much time together as we possibly can, whether we are having a lunch on a Sunday with my grandmother or we're sitting in our family room watching a movie to try to take our mind off things. We know that every day the focus is bringing their father and my husband home, while at the same time balancing them to get into a successful future for themselves. It, it's, there's, it's so cumbersome to, to be raising a family while we're still doing all that we're doing. But we're managing. It's difficult, but we're managing.